Ooh, everybody, Wonky Puppy here, bringing you another Let's Play video inside of Stardew Valley. Today is the 23rd of fall, inside of year one of our completions farm. Let's start the day off like we always do by checking the weather. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. And now the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be cloudy with gusts of wind throughout the day. Fantastic. Okay, let's check the fortune. Ah, yes, I hear the spirits whispering something to me. The spirits are in good humor today. I think you'll have a little extra luck. Fantastic. Uh, so normally, um, if it was like really good luck, I would have gone to the mines, but I have a different plan for the day. But it looks like we have a cutscene, so let's check this out. Uh, hi, um, I just wanted to say sorry for acting so weird yesterday. You probably understand what happened. Uh, okay, bye. <laughs> well, yeah, that, that definitely worked in making things less awkward, Abigail, didn't it? Uh, let's check the mail. Wonky puppy, I'm going to give you this advice because I like you <laughs> I want you to stay in Pelican Town. If there comes a day when you want to ask for someone's hand in marriage, you'll need to give them a mermaid's pendant. Don't worry, everyone in Pelican Town understands the significance of the amulet. It's an ancient tradition in this region. Good luck, Lewis. And uh, another one. Dear Wonky Puppy, I'd like to share an old cooking recipe my pappy used to make. It's important the fish is fresh. Willie, chowder. Okay, cool. So we got another recipe from Willie. We don't have any, any more meal. That's good. Uh, we got an eggplant. That's kind of cool. Oh, ooh, and we got cranberries. And we got a bunch of corn. Oh, it's a good day. Okay, so let's get all these cranberries. So that's going to be a ton of money. Looks like we have another eggplant down there too. So that's not bad. Um, Cool. This is exciting. I didn't expect these cranberries. Uh, but anyway, after I picked these cranberries and I put them all up and everything, what I wanted to do is I wanted to... Ugh. I wanted to um, go on an epic foraging journey. Uh, so cutting down all of the hardwood in, uh, on the farm and in the secret woods area. Cut down all the trees that I can. Pick up all of the crops that I... Not crops. The forageables that I can. Go to the beach. Pick up those forageables. I uh, get as much for foraging EXP as I can uh, today because I want to bump myself up to foraging level 9 so that I get the crafting recipe for a rain totem. Because my thought was I, I want to try to close the loop on marrying Abigail. I got up to level 10 experience uh, or hearts with her uh, last time, but I still need to wait for a rainy day before I can ask her to marry me. To, as well as I can get the mermaid pendant so that I can ask her to marry me. Uh, so what I want to do is I want to get as much foraging at EXP as I can this episode so I can see if I can unlock the recipe for the mermaid permit and, uh, not the mermaid pin, uh, the rain totem. So if I use the rain totem, I can increase the chance of rain. So even if the rain doesn't show up in the forecast, I can still try to get it. That is the plan. Whew. Easy for me to say. Just kidding. Um, I guess I can put the geode in here. I don't know where else to put it. Where are my geodes? Do I have, have them somewhere else for some reason? I don't know. Maybe I just don't have any geodes. That's possible. Uh, you don't go in there. And you go in there. Okay. Uh, so the things that will give me foraging experience will be uh, chopping down trees. Like I said, chopping down stumps. Uh, picking up things on the ground. And, uh, and picking up things on the ground. That does also include... Um, Truffles. So if a piggy finds a truffle and I pick it up, that counts as a foraging something, which is pretty cool. Um, I'm going to hang on to this truffle oil because I think truffle oil is part of the recipe for a rain totem. I definitely want to be able to make the rain totem if it happens. Uh, so I'm going to hang on to one of them. And now let's go say hello to all of our friendly little animals and see if they have any goodies for us. I'm sure they'll have some stuff for us. There's a ducky duck, and a chicken, and a pig, and a bun bun, and another bun bun. The bun buns are getting happy too, so hopefully we'll get a, a foot soon. The ducks are pretty happy as well. Oh, we get a new duck! Yay, a new baby duckling hatched! What are we gonna name it? Let's see. Peepoo, uh, Fro, Laconi, Lemert, Proko, Nalo, Ruda, Snatchers. <laughs> Snatchers it is. Snatchers it is. This is our ducky name Snatchers. We got another duck egg right here. Let's pop that right into the incubator and keep the cycle going. Uh, looks like we got a nice big white egg, but and a couple of and a small brown egg and a duck egg, but no feathers yet. No feathers and no feet. Disappointing. Disappointing. 
Um, let's check to make sure our sprinklers are working in here. It looks like everything is covered. Looking very nice. I think these are, this is more pumpkins. Uh, I don't, I don't definitely remember, but I think it is. Another thing that I need to do, uh, let's just focus on one thing at a time. <laughs> ah, don't you get out, Mr. Cow. Um, I don't remember if picking up mushrooms from here count as foraging experience, but it might. We'll just pick it just in case. Give me. Thank you. And then I think Robin, this might be the last day that Robin's working on the house. Hopefully, hopefully it is. And then we'll have our nice brand new house tomorrow. That'd be really fantastic. Oh, let's, um, let's get this stuff in the, in the mayonnaise makers. And I forgot to milk the cow. I don't think I can milk the, oh, cool. And we got a truffle. Yeah, I don't think it's milk day for the, the goat. It is not. Let's pick up this truffle. Love you, Mr. Cow. Thank you. I can't wait for the cows to get happier, because then we'll get more truffles per day, which is going to be fantastic. Let's pop you in there, and I can actually sell this truffle oil now, because I'll have another one in the pipe. And I definitely need the money. I'd rather have the money. Ooh, sounds like we might have gotten another truffle just now. Let's go ahead and sell these guys. I really need to get to chopping wood. It's already past 10. Um, Now, I also need to get a heater for... The coop, but I won't be able to go and get that today because it's Tuesday and Marty's going to go to the aerobics class, so she won't be available. Okay, yeah, we did get a second truffle, so we'll pop that in as well. That's a bit more experience and more truffles on the way. Fantastic. Let's chop this tree down while we're right here. Cool. Um, maybe there's another tree growing right there too, but I don't want to chop that down. You don't get the same experience from chopping down trees that aren't fully grown. Uh, but the, uh, I think these hardwood stumps are worth about two times the amount of experience as chopping down a tree is. So they're definitely worth doing if you're trying to level up your foraging experience. And if you've got the foraging farm, you can get so much ex uh, so much of the foraging experience just from chopping these down and then going into the secret woods and chopping those down as well. So it's definitely worth the time if you've got it. Um, I think chopping down these rocks, these big rocks over here, or with the pickaxe, counts as mining experience, but not, but not foraging experience. I don't think I even have a good enough pickaxe to get them yet. Um, that'll be something I want to do in winter, is get the upgraded pickaxe and clear the entire farm. Clear everything on the farm. Including all the trees. Um, I'll set up a, an area for, like, signal trees for tappers, but then I want to move most of my tree farm and tappers and all that off the farm. Somewhere else. Uh, so let's get you. Let's just clear this, because I'm feeling like clearing it. Uh, so none of those trees are grown, which is a bit of a disappointment. Oh, here's grown trees. That's good. Let's grab these guys while we're right here. And then we'll go and, um, clear out the secret woods. I haven't been doing a good job of checking into the secret woods for forageables either. Is that there is a, a good amount of forageables that show up there. Um, but yeah, I just, I just haven't made it a priority. Until now, and now I need a, just a ton of experience in one day, and I'm gonna really hope that I can get enough to go to the next level. Um, as you get to the higher level, it just takes so much experience to move from one one level to the next. Um, so I'm not even sure it's feasible to get enough experience to go to the next level today. But we're going to do everything we can. We might have to do this a couple days in a row uh, to get to that next level. But that's fine. Either way, we will get it done. I want to do everything I can to be able to get rain by the end of the season. Look at that. He just like... Phew, just dematerialized. Ooh, that's, this is good. These mushrooms are, um, oh, I got four as well. And those are valuable mushrooms, so they should give me a good amount of experience. Actually, I think the foraging experience is the same regardless of the value of the item, if I remember correctly. Um, so yeah, the value of the item shouldn't matter, but it's the, the act of picking it up off the ground is what gives you the experience. So that's good. Um, let's see. I'll just get rid of you real quick. And just get rid of you real quick, just like so. Any other forageables I can pick up? Nope, don't see any. I don't think this is a passage on this side, is it? No, it's not. Uh, there's a passage over here, for sure. I'm feeling paranoid about slimes because they show up everywhere around here. Let's get these last stumps. I'm not sure if I can see 
the level up. Oh, I can. I did level up to level nine already. Awesome. Do I? I don't think I get the recipes until the thing changes, though. Do I? No, I don't have the recipe yet. I have to wait for us to switch over. But uh, we did level up to level nine, so that's pretty cool. I don't need to worry too much more about foraging experience. But ay 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 ay. I do need the wood, so I am gonna go ahead and clear the forest like I had been doing. But that's awesome. We actually we actually did level up to level nine. Sweet! Let's do all that. Yeah, and I'm just chopping these down because I really need the wood. Um, I'm just totally out of wood. I'd like to build it back up to like a couple hundred bits so I can start building a bunch more chests. I can start building a bunch more bee houses and machines and all kinds of stuff that I just have. I've just been avoiding. Uh, making a whole bunch of because I needed all the wood for building upgrades. And I still need a, a bunch of wood for building upgrades, but I don't... I'm not in like a big hurry to do those anymore. I can spend a little bit of time investing in uh, giving myself the ability to make more money with the farm, which is important. And so once I can do that and things are more automated and kind of happening on their own, um, then it's a lot easier to do more fun things in the game and just spend a little bit less time doing worky stuff. Which is where I like to be. Let's clear all this out. I doubt these are stopping any trees from growing, but just to get a little bit of wood and make it a little bit neater, I'm gonna just start clearing this out. There we go. And we actually are getting pretty low on energy. Here's another little mushroom. How are we on inventory space? Actually, not bad. One of the things I might do... Um is since I've got a little bit of a surplus of money now, is I might actually splurge and buy the upgraded backpack. I might actually go do that um, after I clear these trees, if I still have time and I can get into Pierre's shop. Because that is a really nice thing to, to have. Especially if I'm gonna start going to the Skull Cavern, which I am gonna start doing soon. Because um, you just get so much stuff in the Skull Cavern. You really need the inventory space, for sure. I'm almost out of energy. That's kind of fun. It's been a while since I, since I ran out of energy. Uh, let's see. Let's actually eat a blackberry. Just to give myself a little bit more energy and um, yeah, hopefully be able to take out the rest of these trees down here. Don't know if I'll be able to or not, but we'll see. We're already up to 191 wood, though, so that's actually pretty good. Not too shabby. It looks like it's about one blackberry gives me enough energy for two trees. That looks about right. A little bit more foraging experience. Whew, scary. Oh, that's all the trees. Okay, I don't need any more. Cool. Uh, and I think I can still get into Pierre's shop until 9 o'clock. So let's make a beeline for him now and see if we can't get in there in time to get the backpack. Uh, I think that would be fun to do. Let's go, go, go. Um, I don't think it's 8 o'clock. Hopefully it's not, but we'll see. I th Run! I'm all nervous. Oh, there's a quest too. Ah, oh, cool. I can get in. All right, let's get this backpack then. Buy the backpack upgrade for 10,000 gold. Yes! Splurge! You got the deluxe backpack. Your inventory space has increased to 36. So that's awesome. Now I have three rows of inventory, which is great. So excited for that. Um, You want iron ore? Ah, I'll take it, but I don't think I'm actually going to do that. We'll see. I might. You never know. I'm crazy. <laughs> okay. All right, let's head back to the farm and we'll sell a bunch of stuff that we just got. And then I want to, I don't know what I want to do. Um, I don't think there's really anything else I need to do by the end of the day, that is. Uh, let's sell you, sell you, sell you, sell you, sell you, I guess. And that'll be it. Um, 
I might actually go ahead and make some chests and try to start organizing some stuff a little bit. Oh, I had a coffee bean in here. I should have planted that in that one extra spot I had. Boo. Oh, well. Um, that was silly of me. Mm, anything else I want to do? I don't think so. It's weird. Like, I, I feel like I'm totally caught up. Like, for once this game, I feel like I'm not rushing. <laughs> I feel like I've, I'm actually doing pretty good in terms of progressing and getting things done. It's an odd feeling. I'm not sure I'm okay with it. Um, normally means, in my, in my regular life, that normally means I'm completely forgetting something. Uh, there we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, no. I need to put fiber somewhere else. There we go. Okay, let's look at the machines real quick and see if there's anything we want to build. Um, we could do some more bee houses, but I mean, it's about to be winter and they don't do anything during winter. What I might do is start making some kegs because we definitely need to make more kegs. So let's see, copper, iron, and oak resin. How much oak resin do we have? We have four bits of copper. We have six bits of iron. We have got, we got a bunch of wood. Where's our oak resin? Not there. Probably in here. We got eight oak resin. Wow. So we can actually make a few of these. That's pretty cool. We got, what, four? Well, let's just put this up here for an alert. I'll have to move everything around in a bit, I'm sure. Doop. And... Boop. No. Oh, that's annoying. Oh, well. We're going to leave it. Uh, let's make some more copper. We're going to need more copper for upgrading our tools anyway. Um, so the copper is what's in between us and being able to make more of these. Uh, we're also going to need some more iron pretty soon. Do I have any iron ore? I don't. Oh, no, I do. I'm just being crazy. I need to organize this. There we go. Slightly better. Not really. Now I don't know where anything is. <laughs> Oh, jeez. I'm a mess. All right, come on, copper. This shouldn't take too long. Let's see if there were any more truffles. Ah, I'll just leave them for tomorrow. I don't need the experience. I keep forgetting that. I think I already got the mushrooms, didn't I? Pretty sure. Feel confident. Yeah. I did. Cool. Uh, there we go. We got the copper. Um, all right, let's do some iron now. Let's see, crafty, crafty. They think I'm gonna do two more of these now, right? Because we're gonna run out of iron soon. Yeah. Let's put another one there. And can I chop down this dude? I can. Sweet. I'll make sure I don't exhaust myself though. Whoo! That was close. All right. Let's uh. Let's see. What do we want to keganate? Let's do, let's do these hops. I've been holding on to these hops for forever. You really don't have any other use. Perfect. Those won't take long at all. And it'd be great to set all of this up so when my starfruit crop's done, I can just go and make a whole bunch of starfruit wine. That would make me super happy. Um, it's getting to 10.50 now. I don't, well, maybe the iron will finish in time. We'll give it a little bit more time. Um, I'm not sure whether or not it'll actually work. Uh, what I might do is go ahead and start cutting down some grass and filling up just to see how far I can get with that. And I'll just do the stuff that's kind of messy around the edges over here and leave the stuff that's in inside the pen for the animals. Messy, messy grass. Look at all that hay. It's nice. Yeah, in this area down here, I'm not going to really be growing sun. I might actually take all these things up at some point, probably pretty soon. Because um, my goal will be to convert everything over to, or at least a lot of things, over to iridium sprinklers at some point. Um, and I can actually, if I if I repurpose a lot of the upper area to iridium sprinklers, I can move the other quality sprinklers down here for other crops. That'll probably work too. I can't wait to upgrade my pickaxe and be able to take this guy down. This iridium boulder thing. It'll be nice. Yeah, let's just take all of this stuff down over here. Make it nice and pretty. Oh, and it's 1230. Okay, let's go and see if we can get another round of something. 
going. Um, are we, was that all of our iron? Is that all of our iron? Let's see. Yep. No, we got some more. I'm crazy. I can do one more. And then I can do a little bit more copper, I guess. Might as well. And we're out of copper now. That's fine. Uh, let's just throw all this stuff back in here. Why? Oh, I put hops in there for some reason. Uh, iron goes in here. What else is in here that doesn't need to be in here? All kinds of stuff. Um, yeah, we'll deal with that tomorrow. Ooh, wine's done. That's fine. All right, good night, puppy. Let's go to bed. Yes, let's go to sleep for the night. Woohoo! What do we get? Oh, the house is gonna be done too. Fantastic. Okay, so we got level nine foraging. Sweet. Plus one axe proficiency and the new recipe for the rain totem, which is what I wanted. Fantastic. Okay, so we'll do that in the next episode. Um, but for now, that is going to be the end of today's episode. Actually, let's do the recap real quick of the money we got. Uh, we got a whole bunch of money, mostly from cranberries <laughs> gold. So that paid for our backpack. That's pretty cool. Um, yeah, so this is going to be the end of the episode here. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. And if you did, please leave a like below to let me know that. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date with everything going on in the channel. Uh, join the Discord if you want to chat with the community and get involved. And until next time, I will see you all in the next video. Bye!